right, welcome back to the show, everybody. Today's episode is called Adding and Subtracting Decimals. And today's show is being brought to you by our sponsor, Learn to Earn Savings Day Program, presented by Advia Credit Union. Yes, Learn to Earn at Weiss. Why not save some money for Chicago? It only takes like five bucks to set up an account. You can see any of our uh, fifth graders that are participating in this, or Mr. Baum and Mrs. Pogramich to uh, get an application, super cool program, every other Thursday, Learn to Earn, Savings Day at Weiss. And, uh, oh my goodness, who did this again? Like Frankie Weiss Elementary on Facebook. I don't know, Mrs. Pogramich. Somebody's leaving these, like, I don't know what they're trying to tell you, but they're leaving them all over the place. Better get, get that out of here. Like it's on Facebook. Uh, today we have our key vocabulary before we get going. First off, decimal notation uses a decimal point to show places to the right of the ones place. That's right. Anything that is a decimal is a number to the right of the decimal point. So we have a couple examples we're going to look at today. You have your tenths, which is the first number to the right of the decimal point, your hundredth, which is two numbers to the right of the decimal point, and your thousandths, which is three numbers to the right of the decimal point. And I'm pretty sure our good friend, Mrs. Pogramich, went over this with you in a video earlier on. So get that out of here. We're moving on to our first example. We have, as you would say, 48 hundredths, which is two numbers to the right of the decimal point, added to 39 hundredths. And when you look at this, you think basic addition. It's true. I picture it like money, okay? And I just like to, I like money, and so I'm going to add it up just like money. So you know, 8 plus 9 is going to give you 17. Now I'm going to put my 7 here. In the past, we call this carrying. I have something in my throat. And uh, now with our new math expression series, they're going to call this grouping. So when you move a one over, it's called grouping, carrying or grouping. So now I have one plus four, which is five. Three more is going to give me eight. And that is going to give me an answer of 87 hundredths, just like adding money. Pretty awesome. Now next up, we have this example. And you'll notice right away, you'll say, Mr. Bauman, at the top you have 203 and 5 hundredths. And on the bottom you have 48 and 9 tenths. And you'll notice that they don't line up real well. So what we need to do is we need to put this imaginary zero here because if there's nothing there, we pretend that there's a zero. So we put that there. 5 and 0 is 5. 9 plus 0 is 9. Decimal point straight down. 3 plus 8 is 11 carry or group a 1. 1 plus 0 plus 4 is 5. And this 2 just falls down nice and neat. So we have an answer of 251 and 95 hundredths. See? Super easy math, right? And so now we move on to subtracting decimals. And once again, we're going to picture this um, as money, if you will. And so we have 91 hundredths take away 88 hundredths. And immediately you'll notice the farthest spot to the right, you cannot take 8 from 1. So we need to go next door. And we used to call this borrow, but in this new series we call it ungroup. Same sort of thing. So we're going to change this or convert that into an 8. Bring that 1 over here. And 11 take away is going to give you 3. 8 take away itself gives you 0. And you have to put that zero here to hold its place value, and this is going to fall down nice and neat. So you should have an answer of three hundredths. Very, very simple. Our last example today, we have 168 and 75 hundredths. Take away 59 and 82 hundredths. Five take away two is going to leave you with three. Cannot take seven, eight from seven. No way. Got to go next door. We have to ungroup. Convert that to a 7. Bring that over here. 17 take away 8 is going to leave you with 9. Decimal point straight down. Once again, cannot take 9 from 7. Ungroup. Make that a 5. 17 take away 9 is going to leave you with 8. 5 take away itself is going to leave you with 0. And this 1 is going to fall down. For a final answer of 108 and 93 hundredths, and as always, thank you for being a great audience. You rock.